with Fit Body Boot Camp, I feel that there is room for growth for everybody that's in the industry, from the members all the way up. And then the feeling that you get that you're helping someone to change their lives. When you see what some of your members lifting heavy weights, and they're like, yay, yes, you did it. You know, it's more rewarding versus like, yay. Thank you Hit for a the new milestone at yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for doing the spreadsheet. <laughs> you, you met a deadline. Yes. Welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Scale podcast. Today's guest is Liz Swift, who is a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach who co owns and operates Rancho Cordova Fit Body Boot Camp in California alongside her husband. Liz's fitness background started at the age of five when she first stepped into a dance studio until her mid 30s when she realized that dance is just not enough. And so, her and her husband started attending Fit Body Boot Camp, quickly fell in love with Fit Body, the community, the culture, and the workouts, and then took the leap of faith and opened up their own location. And- All right. Well, Liz, thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm so excited to share your story with our listeners, and I know that it's going to motivate so many of them. So thank you for joining us. Of course. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So Liz is a Fit Body Bootcamp owner. She's been with the brand for four years? Yeah. Four about, years? About okay. Four years. So tell us about your backstory. I know you have a passion for health and fitness, but tell us about how you use that passion and then that led you to fit body ownership. Oh gosh, where will I where should I start? <laughs> I was always like on and off with my health and fitness, right? I took full advantage of like the high metabolism during my twenty, you know, early twenties, right? Then I had my first kid, didn't bounce back right away. <laughs> right. So after the second kid, after my second child, I started noticing, wait, I'm getting a little bit older here, right? Um, My clothes are not getting smaller. They're actually getting bigger. And I was very unhealthy. And I've, I've done like the whole fad diets where you completely starve yourself, right? And I would end up gaining it back. I was 50 pounds overweight from my last child, like the baby weight, right? Mm -hmm. It's not really baby weight if you had it for over, what, four years? Right. Right? So I wasn't feeling comfortable with my being in my skin. I would look at pictures, and in my mind, I looked a certain way, but when I would see it through the reflection of the mirror or through pictures... That's not me. You know, I say, no, I got to do something. And I want, I wanted my kids to be proud of their mom. And I especially wanted my husband to be proud of me, right? Like, mm-hmm. that's my wife. I right. want to be that hot wife, right? right? So I started my fitness journey through, like, I started doing the weight training with my husband, started asking him for advice. And, of course, we all know how that goes, right? When you ask for advice from your husband, you're like, yeah, you don't know anything. Well, and they make it seem like, oh, you just do this, and then you're going to lose 20 pounds. Like, it's that easy. (laughs) And it's different for men, I believe, right? It is. So I finally was like, okay, I need to get a hold of my, you know, I get, I need to get a handle on my nutrition. I need to get a handle in what I'm putting in my body. I need to become more active. And, you know, dancing, dancing has always been part of my like fitness journey as well, but it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. It was never enough. So from there, I started getting more strict and more disciplined. And then you know, James introduced me to Fit Body Boot Camp. He's like, hey, you know, I want to open up a gym. I'm like, well, crap. Yeah, <laughs> now I really have to get fit. Yeah, yeah, I have to be, you know, I have to be like that role model, right? Yeah. So started going to local Fit Body Boot Camps just to see what it was all about. And I just fell in love with it. I'm like, okay, let's, let's go. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. What was it that you fell in love with? It was the workouts, Mm -hmm. quite honestly. Like, I go there. It's run for me. I don't even have to think about it, and it's only 30 minutes. Right. Right? Because normally I would spend time in the gym, in a box gym, like an hour, an hour and a half, kind of knowing what I'm doing, but not hoping that I won't injure myself. You know, I've done the um, one-on-one personal trainers at the box gym, and... 
you know, it's it's not the same. No, not, not at all. Same. That was one of the things I loved about Fit Body was I too spent an hour in the gym mm-hmm. thinking that that was the way that I was going to see results. Right. And at Fit Body, I didn't have to think about it. I would show up. They would yeah. give me the best workout ever in 30 minutes. And then I would leave there being like, oh my gosh, what was that? And yeah. then just show up the next day and do it all over. And yeah. you don't have to think about anything. And the coaches actually do care about you. Right. Right. They they care about your form. They care about like if any injuries that you have, they want you to succeed. Yeah. So, which is completely different from a box gym. Yeah. I want to go back to, you mentioned that you were a dancer and just before the show we were chatting and you danced for a long time, yes. 25 years. Yes. That was definitely a part of your identity, oh, but, yeah. but no longer a part of your identity after you started having children. Talk to that, to our listeners about that a little bit, like how just not dancing anymore affected your, not only your physical health, but your mental health as well. Yeah, it was, dancing was a good portion of my life. It was my outlet. It was, it was my, my safe haven. Um, growing up, my parents were divorced and didn't really fit in. My parents just moved me from the Bay Area to Northern California. So dancing has always been like my, my safe haven. And when I had my kids, it felt like I was lost, like a part of me was missing. Mm-hmm. So I just felt lost without it. Yeah. So now here and then I try to incorporate it from time and time again when I do have the time, when I do have that me time. Yeah. And I always try to, like if I find an adult class locally, I'll, I'll ask James, hey, can you, can we swap shifts so I could go to this class? Yeah. You know? to like just get away for a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. And I love how you said that at that low point in your life, you looked at pictures and you said, this is not me. Yeah. And you didn't accept that identity because women, after they have children, me and I've been, I've been there. It's like, you want to accept this new identity of yourself. Like, well, I guess this is just what it is now. Right. And instead you said, nope, this isn't me. I know what I felt like when I felt good. I know what I looked like. And you didn't accept that. You were like, I'm just going to figure out how I can get back to living my best life. And I love that you pointed that out. Yeah. Because (laughs) especially athletes, we see this a lot with athletes Mm -hmm. at Fit Body. It's they say to themselves, I used to be athletic. I used to be fit. I used to be an athlete. And it's like, no, actually, you're still an athlete. You've just gained 30 pounds. Right, right. And so you're still in that same identity. It's just you need to shift your mindset that, like, this is not who you have to be. You can still right. be that old person. Sure, has life changed? Is it going to be harder to lose 30 pounds when you're 40 than it was when you were 20? Sure. Yeah. But you can still do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I love that you pointed that out. All right. So you and James opened up your Fit Body Boot Camp. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that journey, that first year of ownership. (laughs) Here you are feeling your best, looking your best, living your best life, fit now into your health and fitness. And now you're opening up your own fitness studio. Talk about those first six months, the struggles, the highs and the lows. Where? Oh my gosh. It was quite the journey because (laughs) at that time I was still working full time. Um, I was still in the corporate world. So I, I was, I had a foot in and my other foot was like with my full-time job supporting, right. you know, supporting our family. Cause at that time, James was not, we weren't paying James for his time. Right. We were all investing. We were investing, um, investing his income through the business and paying our coaches. So it was a rough time for six months seemed great but of course there was the show I think the most challenging part was we were doing so well a year and a half into our business and then bam COVID happened and I think you know COVID has done it's you know it was a hard time for everybody right you know um who had us who had a small business or still has a small business it was a hard time right yeah. we were scared we, we didn't know what to do. And thankfully, you know, Bejos provided like guidance. Right. And he, he was a great, he's a great mentor as well. And he provided a plan mm-hmm. to, to get us going. Right. After that, it was just trying to s- stay above water. Right. 
just trying to stay above water. Um, also, prior to that, let me let me backtrack. The lowest point of that for me was my confidence level mm-hmm. with with my with my relationship with my husband because mm-hmm. well, he was barely home, right? Yeah. Working all the time, working new all business the time. owner. Yeah. yeah, and so I was home. You know, I would come straight home from the office and take care of the kids, and I would feel overwhelmed, and I was. I was feeling a little bit sad and out of place and Mm -hmm. like unworthy. Yeah. Right. So like, no, something has to give. So I sought out a life coach. I went to, yeah. So it was, so that also helped us through, through our trials and tribulations through COVID as well. Like the mindset, like shifting the negative thoughts, the fear, you know, battling through that that also helped us through you know through COVID and stuff I want to interrupt you a second just because I know some of our (laughs) listeners may have questions about a life coach and I have questions myself so with your life coach did he or she help you with more of your relationship with James or with your career or or both actually my relationship with myself with yourself yeah there was childhood trauma that I had no idea that I never dealt with before and it just came back, like, through our relationship. Like, the whole not getting enough attention, like, that stems from not getting enough attention from my parents as they were yeah. separating ways. Wow. So it triggered a lot, but it's also it's also a blessing, too, you know, a blessing in disguise to deal with that, to have that trigger, and then learning how to cope with that and also helping me understand yourself and myself and members and whoever I cross paths with. Right. So, right. Well, and you know, as a fitness business owner and as a coach, there have been times where you're so focused on serving others that you're neglecting yourself. Yes. And coaches need coaches too. Oh yeah, like absolutely. We all need someone that is there for us to be that sounding board. And that is so great that you were able to find that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you had the low moments. Now let's talk about those amazing moments as, well, first I want to go back. So you were working full time. Mm-hmm. James was doing Fit Body full time and you were kind of feeling half in, half out. Yeah. What's your situation like today? So I'm all in. You're all in today. I am all in. All in. Actually, in about a month will be exactly a year where I just that's fantastic. Went all in. Yeah. Yeah. And so talk about the amazing moments that you've had as being all in with Fit Body, working as an owner operator and a coach. Talk about that. What are some? Oh my gosh, it's it's very different, and I feel that it's more rewarding. You know because. In in the corporate world, you're working for someone else, right? And you don't feel as appreciated. Like when, when you're trying to help people, mm-hmm. like they're like, eh, you know, right. you're supposed to do that. That's your job. Right. And plus, you know, there there wasn't much mentorship, I felt like. So with with Fit Body Boot Camp, I feel that there is room for growth for everybody that's in the industry mm-hmm. from the members all the way up right right and then the the feeling that you get that you're helping someone to change their lives you know and in a positive manner like when you see what some of your members lifting heavy weights and they're like yay yeah yes you did it you know it's more rewarding right versus like yay Thank you Hit for the a new spreadsheet. milestone at yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for doing the spreadsheet. <laughs> you, you met a deadline. Yes. <laughs> so it's different. It's a different feeling. Right. That's awesome. I love it. And I would want to ask, like, what is your zone of genius? So you and James work together. And I know because I work with my spouse and we kind of have a similar story, but it, the roles are flipped. So I started full time fit body. Mm-hmm. That was my job. And then my husband was working full time and then over to after about when COVID started, he switched to part time Mm -hmm. and then went in with Fit Body a little bit more. And then it's been now 
almost two years, he's been all in with Fit Body, and it's such a blessing working with your spouse. But then sometimes, oh my goodness, oh yeah, it can be girl, very challenging. girl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your zone of genius? So, um, he's a high level parrot. Okay, and so I'm an owl. Like, I'm really good at telling him to slow down, and I like provide that structure that is needed mm. in our studio, the structure, yeah. the um, communication, <laughs> like the slow your roll. Hold on. Right. Let's, let's look at the whole picture first be prior to proceeding. Okay. So that's, you know, kind of implementing what I've learned over the years in a corporate world and kind of implementing it in our business that suits us. You That's know. great. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and for our listeners, a parrot and an owl. <laughs> <laughs> there is a well-known personality <laughs> test that a lot of Fit Body owners take and they have their coaches take and we love to talk about it. It is Take Flight with Learning yes. and it categorizes you as either a parrot, an owl, an eagle, or a dove. And I am 95% parrot. <laughs> My husband is an eagle. And so our relationship is again yeah, flip flopped, flip yes. flopped. I need I need him to tell me like slow down. Yeah. I'm gonna pull you back. Yeah, yeah. It's it's great to have that that working relationship with your partner if you can figure out okay what you're really good at and what he's good at and yeah. divide and conquer because ultimately you're working towards the same goal. Right, right. We both have the same goal. Right. We want the same outcome. We have the same values, the same vision, but we try to do it in different ways, but we have to do it in a way where we're working together, not against one another. Right. So that's also, you know, that's also a work in progress as well. Oh, definitely. (laughs) Definitely. So I want to do something fun. I want to do a lightning round of just some (laughs) fast questions to motivate and inspire our listeners. You up for it? Yes. Okay. All right. So what's the one thing that you're most passionate about today? dancing still dancing yeah okay was anything ever holding you back from becoming a fitness professional but more so saying yes to going all in with fit body it's the confidence the confidence if i didn't do that whole personal growth with my life coach mm-hmm. and using the tools that was provided like every day like you know journaling self affirmations looking at myself right. in the mirror and Looking at myself saying, hey, I'm proud of you. You you got this. I don't think, you know, I don't think I would be here. It's just the confidence. Yeah. I love that. Okay. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Be yourself. Be yourself. Be your authentic self. Mm. People will either love you or they won't. And the people that won't, it doesn't matter. That's right. Yeah. Be yourself and be confident. I yeah. love it. All right. Share one of your personal habits, maybe a daily habit that contributes to your success. So I recently just started doing this is weighing myself every day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It holds me accountable and it also reminds me that we don't weigh a certain weight. I learned this from James. Yeah. We, we don't weigh a certain weight. We weigh a range. So don't get attached to that number. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I actually weigh myself probably every other day and I feel the same way. I do it just because like I feel good. Like I take care of myself 99% of the time. Like I focus on my fitness. I prioritize my nutrition and my water and my sleep. I do all of those things 99% Mm -hmm. of the time. So if the scale goes up by two or three pounds one day, then I'm like, huh, maybe I put on some muscle. Yeah. Like that's literally how I look yeah. at it. I never look at it as, oh my gosh, you know, what am I going to do today to get those three pounds <laughs> off? Because right. I might step on it a week later and it might be three pounds mm-hmm. less. And as women, like oh, we God. carry around water weight, bloat. It depends on what time of the month it is. Exactly. Like you cannot focus <laughs> on that number. But I do think it is it's good to be aware yeah. as long as it's serving you. So at the, with beyond the scale, like we like to say like, it doesn't matter about the number and it truly doesn't. If you're someone who's triggered by the number on the scale and it's affecting you mentally, yeah. like, then don't get on it. No, But yeah. yeah, it just depends on like the way you look at it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I love that. Okay, so what books and podcasts do you read and do you listen to? So, oh my gosh. So there is two books that I try to read like once every six months. It's The Four Agreements and You're a Badass. Ooh. Yeah, You're a Badass is more like, helps the self, you know, the confidence and just a reminder that I am capable of anything, right? Yeah. I'm a badass, right? Yeah. The four agreements just help me just to remind me like what people say or think about you. It's not you, it's them. Mm -hmm. So it's a great reminder because I mean, I know um, sometimes uh, as coaches, when, when we when we're pouring our, our energy into somebody and it's not reciprocated, you're down on yourself, right. right? You're like, is it me? What did I do wrong? What could I have done better? Right. And then it just reminds me to take a step back, like, okay, it's not, it's nothing personal. Right. You feel right? like you're in a one-sided relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a good reminder or anybody, you yeah. know, that you, you try to help. It's or anybody that you come encountered with. It's just a good reminder. Well, I need to read that. It's a really good. Yeah, book. I'm definitely yeah. adding that to my list. Yeah. Well, my last question for you is what does living a life beyond the scale mean to you? People who are um, actually us, you know, fit fitness professionals, we're, we're human, too. Mm -hmm. That's what it means to me. I we're love human. It. Yes. You know. And it's never going to be perfect. Exactly. Like we said, the, the number's not going to be the same every day. Yeah. You're not going to feel the same. You're not going to look the same. It's fluid. Yes, exactly. Very fluid. Well, Liz, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I feel like we could have chatted for a really long time. Oh, yeah, time. for I sure. Love, yeah, <laughs> you have so much great wisdom. So where can our listeners find you? I am located in Sacramento, California, um, Rancho Cord well, suburb Rancho Cordova, California. We have our Facebook page, Rancho Cordova Fit Body Boot Camp, and then FBBC Rancho Cordova on Instagram. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs>